Hello, I'm Aksuba Judge and I'm so glad and excited to be bringing God's truth to you today. Are you ready for us to call for that daily bread? Say, Father, today I receive my daily bread. Hallelujah. Own it up. Say, my daily bread. It's coming to me now in Jesus' name. Amen. Listen to me. I'm not just declaring this when I say miracle is going to happen to you today. I heard God say I should tell you today a miracle is going to happen. I don't know what you're believing God for, but trust him and trust me. You will see a miracle today. Let's pray. Father, we'll give you praise. Thank you for this opportunity to bring forth your truth. And as we're listening to you, Lord, Jesus said, Holy Spirit, you will guide us into all truth. And as you do, I know burdens are being lifted right now and yokes are being destroyed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. Now, as, as, as I minister like this, you, you can, I may not always minister healing, but I tell you one truth, and this is what God had told me as I'm ministering, the power of God is present to heal. So if there is any pain in your body right now, just pay attention to the word of God. And, and as, you see, this is how to pay attention to the word of God. As you're hearing the word of God, be reasoning it out. See, that's how you open your spirit. Okay, okay. And how do you reason out? Mm, is this pastor telling the truth? No, you're not reasoning it out. You're doubting it. That's what you're doing. There's a difference between doubting it and trying to reason it out. Trying to reason it out is like you're trying to reason with someone. Okay, um, I'm, I'm trying to get your point now. And you're searching your own heart. And like, oh yeah, there's a scripture that says this. Okay, now the moment you are doing that, see what's going on in you. The anointing of God's spirit, you're opening up yourself for the anointing of God's spirit to work. And, and, and you can actually do this and you see it work. Let's say there's a pain in your body. And while you're reasoning out the word of God, as you're listening to me, you can be monitoring that pain. I'm telling you the truth. By the time we are done, you will realize the pain is gone. Like I said, to you is a miracle. But in heaven, it's a normal operation. See, everywhere the word of God goes, it cleanses. So if they say your, your, your blood vessels are blocked, it is being cleansed right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, as you are listening to the word of God, there's a clearance taking place. There's a cleansing taking place. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Praise God. Now then, we, you know, I've been sharing with you all week about, look, Getting yourself to align with God. And, and let me read the scripture to you. Job. Job said something very amazing. And it sums up everything I've been talking to you about. You know, you, see, you, you, you come to that place of understanding that the operations of God is just the same. Anywhere you see God, you know, some, some people go in the Old Testament, in the New Testament. I, I consider that a baseless argument. Because God is still God. He never changed. The same way God functioned in the Old Testament, the same way He's functioning in the New Testament. Yeah. <laughs> it's the truth, praise God. It's the same way. In the New Testament, He just made us to come near to Him. And that was not because He was far from us previously. It's because our minds needed something to work on. So sin held us bound. 
and Jesus was sent. He defeated sin and dealt with the sin issue. And now we are told to come in boldly to his throne of grace. But guess what? Even in the Old Testament with the whole sin thing, there are men who dared to go in boldly. And they got what they wanted, praise God. So he's the same God. It's we that have not really learned how to approach him and walk with him. But here's what um, Job said, Job chapter 22. Job 22 and verse 21. I love this scripture. I think this sums up everything we're talking about. Look at what it says. It says, Job 22 verse 21. Acquaint now thyself with him and be at peace. You need to understand that word acquaint. Let me read. Let me read this from. Uh, let me read it from the Amplified Translation now. Good. It says, "Acquaint now yourself with Him, agree with God, and show yourself to be conformed to His will, and be at peace. By that you shall prosper, and great good shall come to you." Did you see that? Acquaint yourself with him. He says, agree with him. Let me read the message translation. He says, give in to God. Come to terms with him and everything will turn out just fine. Notice, he says, come to terms with him. That's why he says, acquaint yourself with him. Get to know him. Are you acquainted with that person? He said, oh yeah, he's my, my very good friend. My very good friend. What are you saying? I know him. Oh, they say, there's someone in the waiting room. Can you get acquainted with him? And let's know if we can, um, we can employ him or get him to work with us or get him to work for us. Or he can do the job. So you go there and you say, hey, how are you? You won't go there and say, can you do the job? Yes, can do Okay, you now go back and say, you've not acquainted yourself with him. To acquaint yourself with someone, you want to know how the person thinks, how the person reasons. From the way this person reasons, can he deliver this job well? See, that's what acquaintance is. So you want to work with somebody, you want to get acquainted with the person first. Because you're talking, oh, so, so how are you? Oh, I'm fine. You know, did you go to school? Oh, yes, I went to school. What school did you go to? Who oh, I went to? And incidentally, you know someone who went to that same school who studied and said, oh, did you know Susan so person? Yes. Oh, he was a very good friend of mine. Ah, really? Tell me about him. Ah, they get now by the things the person is saying, you begin to deduce his values. You begin to deduce his values. See? Because the person might just say, ah, hey, that was my smoking partner now. Now he just gave you an information. I used to smoke or I smoke. You say, ah, you see, ah, <clears throat> the things we did there eh, in school, did, if I tell you the things we did with that person, now he is exposing himself, you are getting acquainted with him. You just met him, but you're already getting acquainted with him. That's why sometimes, you know, when you go for an interview, they say, tell us about yourself. Now, it's not that they just want you to say, I am a good person. I, I have never told or told a lie before. No, they, they want you to talk. In, in, in speaking, they may ask you a question in line with what you're saying. But what they are trying to do is to get acquainted with you. They want to understand your thinking pattern. They want to understand your thought process. That will tell if they can deal with you or not. So when he says, acquaint yourself with God, he said, get to know God. You call him father. Do you know him? Now, for him to say, acquaint yourself with him, means you can acquaint yourself with him. Means he is available, praise God, to be acquainted with. He is not all that far away and hard up there. We can't know God. Who, who are we to know him? Just do what they tell you to do. No, sir. You can ask him questions and he will answer. He is ever ready to answer you. I'm telling you the truth. 
So get acquainted with him. No, no, no. What, watch what he says. Acquaint yourself, acquaint now thyself with him and be at peace. Thereby good shall come to you. Verse 22 says, Receive, I pray thee, the law from his mouth and lay up his word in thy heart. See? If thou return to the Almighty, thou shalt be built up and thou shalt put away iniquity far from thy tabernacle. Kalabaya. Now, this is the same thing Paul was talking about when he said, I commend you now to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up. You see? The same thing Paul says, the same thing Job, brother Job in the Old Testament is telling you the same thing. So what has changed? It is the word that will be... Look, look at what he says. This. Receive now, verse 22. Receive now, I pray thee, the law from his mouth. Did you see that? Job is telling you, huh. you know, God spoke to Joshua and said, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy what? Mouth, not heart, mouth, mouth. Why did he say that? You think, huh, you think he was referring to a book like Moses gave them a book. So we, we, we use that to say, you know, memorize scriptures and be talking scriptures. It sounds good. But God was actually referring to the law that he gives to you. What I tell you, don't let it depart from your mouth. What does that mean? When I speak to you, repeat what I say. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Now he says, Receive, I pray thee, the law from his mouth. That is it. Not from the book. From his mouth. So now he just said, acquaint yourself with him. When you acquaint yourself with him, he begins to speak to you. Because God was, he will speak to you. Get in your closet and say, Lord, I want to know you. Get in yourself and say, Lord, I'm, I'm tired of following religion. I want to know you. I want to get myself acquainted with you. He will speak to you. It says, when you receive the law from his mouth and lay up his word in your heart. Now, you receive it from his mouth. This is not somebody said. I'm not talking about somebody said. This is what the Bible says, the just shall live by his own faith. So God ministers to you. You receive his word and then you lay it up in your heart. This is what God said. And then you begin to analyze it, analyze it, analyze it. And it says, when you do that, if thou return to the Almighty, thou shalt be built up. How will you be built up? His word that he's giving to you. He's speaking to you. Paul said, I, I commend you to, to, the, to the Lord and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up. This is how the building takes place. You get acquainted with God. You try to understand him. You set your mind to, you tune your mind to receive his, his, his instructions, to understand what he's saying, not to doubt what he's saying, not to argue with what he's saying, but to receive what he's saying. So the same thing, no, you, you, you set your mind to argue about tithing, you will not be acquainted with God. If you said this tithing thing is wrong, I'm going to prove it to you that it's wrong, and you begin to search the scripture, he's not going to speak to you. I'm telling you the truth, he won't speak to you. But when you go before him and say, Lord, tell me about this tithing thing. Because that is the greatest financial system God ordained for the earth. We can't talk about it enough. And, and you begin to search and, and fellowship with God. He will begin to talk. Now, when he begins to talk to you about it, you begin to lay it up in your heart. Lay it up in your And it comes in layers. He tells you the truth, one truth today. Tomorrow he tells you another one. Next, next week he tells you. And next year he tells you. You are laying it up in your What's going on in your life? You are being built up. Thank you, Lord Jesus. What did he say when you acquaint yourself with him? He says, good will come to you. Simple. You are tired of the kind of suffering life you are living. This is the secret. Acquaint yourself with the Lord. Just acquaint yourself. You're sick in your body. Oh, instead of running from post, pillar to post, pause. Acquaint yourself with God. Lord, I want to know you. How did you say by the stripes of Jesus, we are healed? How does that work? Simple question. 
But can you fast and pray because of that question? You know, you, you are fasting and praying that God should heal you. This is the best place to fast and pray. And think the prayer point. Father, how did you mean by the stripes of Jesus? I'll be healed. Or I was healed. Now he comes and begins to open that up. Brothers and sisters, the moment he begins to open that up, good, which is your healing, will come to you. Praise God. I'm telling you, you are like Abba Shakaya. Father, we thank you. Our time is up. Yeah, praise God. Oh, we give you praise, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You have not hidden yourself from us, but you have called us in to fellowship with you. And we open our hearts to get acquainted with you, Lord. We, we, we try now to reason with you. And we receive every good in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.